And, and I also remember, too, that uh, the Pig and Whistle was a great place to show off your car um, because the, the 1960s really was the era of the muscle car. Um, when you started in the early 1960s, uh, of course, you, you had the Corvette, which was kind of the singularly uh, the, the hot car uh, to have, especially from 1963 forward when the Stingray uh, version uh, came out. But as muscle cars continued to evolve, develop, and grow the, between the Mustang and the Pontiac GTO uh, and things like that, there would be a parade, really, of muscle cars through the parking lot. And oftentimes, oftentimes it would be um, interesting to watch as people would exit and pull out onto the street and then really give it the gas and go shooting up uh, Georgia Avenue uh, toward town, just vroom in a cloud of smoke and dust and screeching of tires and this kind of thing. Um, and we all remember uh, anybody in that time, somebody that did not have much of a muscle car, but they were going to try to compete as they came out of the, the Pig and Whistle drive-in. And the fire station was right across the street, and there was a telephone pole and a guy wire to support the telephone pole. And when the guy came out of the Pig and Whistle exit and really gave it the gas, he lost control of the car went up the guy wire high enough to actually roll the car over on its roof there in front of the pig and whistle. So one of the more notable, one of the more notable evenings that we had of, of people trying to show off their, their car and, and that one didn't turn out well for the driver.